Hello, I'm Kajal Devani, Director of Science and Technology at the Canadian Angus Association. We're introducing genetic evaluations for new traits this year, and I'm excited to talk to you about Tita Nutter's scoring today. Last year, we surveyed our members and commercial customers, and our survey respondents identified Tita Nutter's structure as one of their top priorities. To me, the cow is the actual production engine, and cow longevity has a huge impact on producer profitability. We know that teeth and udder structure have an impact on cow longevity as they're associated with early culling, increased mastitis, delayed suckling, and access to colostrum for the calf. So we talked about the why, now let's talk about the how. Please score your cows using this guideline. It's available on our website under the trade collection guideline, or if you contact the office, we can send you a printed copy. Teed and utter structure should be scored within 24 hours of calving, as this is the trait of interest. We want to ensure that cows have good structure at this time so that calves can start nursing immediately. When you go to tag, and weigh your calf at birth. Also make note of teat and udder scores on the dam. Score the worst quarter on the cow. Score teat score separately from udder score. The scoring guideline goes from one to nine, where nine for udder score is a tightly suspended udder. For teat score, nine is a small symmetrical teat. Udder score one describes a pendulous udder that no longer has support. And teat score one is a large bottle shaped teat. To maintain consistency across the herd, the score should be taken by one person. And the entire cow herd should be scored. Scores can be recorded and submitted using worksheets provided by the association. Project-based teat score and udder score EPDs give us estimated heritability of 33% for udders and 18% for teat score. This tells us that about 30% of the variation that we see in udders is influenced by genetics and that we can use teat score and udder score EPDs to select for animals that have improved genetic potential for good mammary structure. We need to collect more phenotypes to complete the development of this evaluation. So please ensure you're scoring your heifers and cows at calving time. One question that we've received or comment is that teat and udder scoring seems subjective. What can producers do to make sure that their scores are more accurate? The biggest thing is to have only one person score the entire group of cows. Or if that's not possible, you can discuss a couple of animals together to come up with a consensus. The important thing is to maintain consistency within the herd. Use the guideline and have it close by so that you can refer to the pictures. Score the entire group, both good and bad. These scores are really important to the completion of the development of this evaluation. So we thank you for taking the time to accurately score and record teat and udder score on your cows.